Today's project is to build a wooden tractor and trailer out of some scrap. There's nothing like an excuse to just go down in the shed and spend some time alone with some wood and some machinery. It's provided many hours of pleasure over the years. And yes, I'm using the drone for this. I didn't really need to, but, you know, I'm bored. The shed looks like chaos, but there is a method in the madness. Most of my tools are relatively inexpensive, and as I said, they've been collected over a number of years, not just all at once. And so now, when I look around, it looks like an awful lot of stuff. None of which I can do without, of course. There's a little method in the chaos. I've got woodwork in one area, and over here, most of my metalworking type stuff, like the welder, and the bench drill, and a sander, and another sander, and a grinder, and then a shelf full of stuff. It's probably obvious, but I'm a completely self-taught novice. But in these days of confinement, it's good that I've got a whole lot of scrap wood sitting around just waiting for a project. Not only scrap wood, but scrap steel and aluminium as well. A few days ago, I completed this little project. It's a wind vane with a wombat on it. Made out of steel and aluminium. And swings on roller skate bearings. Today I'm part way through a woodwork project. It's going to be a tractor and trailer. I've got most of the tractor together and the wheels done. It's almost ready for painting. And here's the trailer that's going to be towing with a few bits of wood on the back for a child to stack in and out. As I said, I'm no expert. I found a picture on the internet that I thought looked interesting and I copied it into a simple CAD program. Then, looking at the picture, I worked out the various pieces that I would need to make up the tractor and the trailer, and drew these individual pieces. Then it's just a simple matter of printing them out, pasting them on a piece of wood, and then cutting out. I'm cutting out the wheels here, so I'm going to use a scroll saw, but because I'm, because I'm not all that great, I'm leaving a little bit around the line and then I'm going to finish it off on the sander so that I get a nice perfect circle for the wheel. The scroll saw does a great job of cutting out small intricate pieces and perfect for a woodworking job where you're making toys and stuff. Anyway, now that I've got it cut out with just a little left on the line, I'm just going to sand it to the line just by turning it around and getting a nice, perfect finish on that wheel. Before final assembly, I'm going to use orange oil to finish the wood and bring out the colour of each piece of timber. I've selected different sorts of scrap for different parts of the tractor so that it comes out looking different colours. And as you can see, the oil brings out not only the colour of the timber, but the grain as well. Makes it look much nicer. And the orange oil is food safe, so it doesn't matter if you lick it. So I'll just let that soak in before I install the wheels. Now that the wheels are all installed, the project is finished. So I can grab the trailer and hook it onto the tractor and stack it with its load and give it a test drive. Brum brum. The finished product looks really good. But let's face it, making each individual piece is very simple. So it's just a matter of going step by step, making each piece and putting them all together. To finally arrive at this nice little tractor and trailer.